mailed the package to the winner of the CB radio contest. I thought today might be a good day to, uh, to start the vlog. Um, I've never done a vlog before, so uh, maybe a little bit bumpy starting off. But I think this is something that'll really help improve my filming, give me a little bit of variety uh, in my videos. Uh, give me something different to make and do and hopefully by having that little bit of uh, creativity it'll inspire me to for new projects and uh, better shots for cheap videos and so forth so now that we got that mailed out we gotta head to drop off this package here going FedEx Now we don't have a FedEx drop-off place uh, here in Claremont, at least not one that I know about. So I'm going to have to bring this. I saw a FedEx drop-off box over in Windsor, Vermont, which is just right across the river. So we'll go uh, deliver that. So we got here now. Let's see if the box even will fit in there. See if the box will even fit in the drop box. Now that we got the package dropped off, let's go take a look at that bridge we crossed. It is the longest uh, covered bridge in the United States. Second longest in the world. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys in, enjoyed uh, seeing that. It's really nice out today. It's actually like 40 degrees out. I think we need to go wash the Jeep. Let's go wash it. So I thought I'd bring you guys down this road. I think it's always kind of cool. Uh, I'm really a big fan of graffiti. I think it looks awesome. Uh, as long as the graffiti is not uh, on someone's private property, I, th I think it can look really cool. Uh, so this is uh, what they like to call graffiti bridge on Half Mile Road. Quite a bit of graffiti on each side. I may or may not have gotten in trouble for uh, spray painting on this bridge before. And uh, a lot of times we'll like to trick people that are, are new, haven't been in the state before, some of our friends that are from New York or something. Uh, it's really fun to tell them the rumor that someone killed, hung themselves on that bridge. And you drive up to that bridge at night and you tell them, that when you're, if you pull up to the bridge, turn off your vehicle, keep the, and then flash your lights three times, uh, you'll see the 
body of the dead girl hanging from the bridge and you won't be able to start your vehicle. Now this is where you can really have some fun with them. You pretend like your vehicle doesn't start, try to turn it over, it doesn't start, and just have someone uh, who's in on it as well scream. Uh, it really freaks them out. It, uh, it's kind of a mean prank, but uh, it's funny. Uh, good harmless fun nonetheless. So I don't know if your Jeep does that, but that's really, really annoying. Um, it just kind of goes to full and then kind of garbles out. And uh, I, I've done some research and I still haven't figured out how to quite solve that problem. Uh, no matter what, uh, it, it's gotten worse. Now every single time I pump gas, it'll uh, spill out a little bit. And I look, uh, I get some strange looks. People are thinking I don't know how to pump gas. Uh, so I don't know if there's a, a fix out there. Um, if you guys know of any fixes for that, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what I can do to avoid that in the future. Looks like a few other people have the same idea. So uh, we'll just have to wait for a few minutes. Well, while we're sitting here waiting for the car wash, I might as well uh, thank you guys again for all your support. Uh, you've really helped the channel grow. We're really closing in on 600 subscribers now, and that that's really awesome. I uh, hope you enjoy the vlog. It's something new for me. Uh, kind of challenges myself, uh, pushes me out of my comfort zone, which is something I feel like everyone should do. Everyone should try to push themselves out of their comfort zone. Uh, you shouldn't get too comfortable doing something, uh, never challenging yourself. You'll, you'll never grow. Uh, you'll never change as a human being, a person. Uh, you really need to strive for better things in your life. Try to set goals, try to attain them. It really, I think it really helps transform you as a person. Uh, it really turns you into an ambitious person and that's the kind of person I want to be. I want to chase my dreams, I want to chase my goals and it's just something I, I've always uh, wanted to do. I've always had a strong work ethic uh, ever since I, I was, my parents did a really good job raising me. They instilled in me a really good work ethic and I think that's helped me throughout the years uh, really strive and for better things. I've, I've worked uh, since I was 15. Uh, I've worked my butt off to get where I am now. Uh, so for you guys to give me support in my dreams, it really does mean a lot to me. I hope you guys are chasing your dreams too. Uh, and if I can help you guys back, if I can help you guys out in any way as well, let me know. I'm always willing to help someone that's willing to better themselves, chase their dreams, uh, and get to where they want to be in life. Life isn't always just coasting through. Sometimes you actually have to put the effort in. Uh, you have to go for it. That's it for my little rant for now. I uh, just want to thank you guys again for watching. And uh, hopefully this line in the car wash goes uh, a little quicker. I always feel like I'm too short, or too tall for this.
looking pretty nice. Not perfect, but uh, as good as you can get for snowy New England, salty New England weather. So I just want to thank you guys again for uh, taking a chance to watch something a little bit different than just uh, normal Jeep videos. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out.